My name is Daryl Alderman. I'm the owner, president of G&W Construction Company. Most of our work is um, rural water lines, utilities, sewer, electric, just any any kind of a utility line. Alex Wells, work for G&W Construction. I've been uh, drilling with Ditch Witch for 12 years. The Ditch Witch drills that we're running are the JT3020 and the JT100. The JT100 in Prestonsburg, Kentucky, we put in a gas line up there last summer. It was like 5,500 foot of it, and the longest bore was 1,365 feet. It was all steel, under a railroad, uh, under a river, up a hillside. 375 foot of elevation difference. We did it with a JT100 all-terrain. It was about every type of soil you could think of, you know, sand, clay, hard rock, soft rock, shale. Then we had to, uh, to move the drill to the top of the hill to pull the product through. The total pipe weighed 66,000, and the JT100, our competitors, uh, a lot of them said it wouldn't do it, and it done it with ease. Pipe pulled through good, and uh, it had no pressure hardly. 1800 PSI is all the pressure we had on the on the gauge when, the, when we pulled the pipe out of the ground. Went really well. The all-terrains have really helped us as far as the production. In the past, uh, subcontractors uh, come in and do a directional bore for us and a stream crossing, and you know they might be there for a month, uh, shooting different shots, uh, trying to steer and come out on the other side. When the all-terrains come out on the market, that put an end to that. Uh, we drill and steer and come out first shot now. project I'm on now, we uh, got called in to help them. Uh, they tried to, to drill it and don't really know what happened there, but, it's, <laughs> but anyhow, we brought the Ditch Witch AT in and uh, first week we got 1,236 feet in four days. Pretty rough drilling shell mostly hard to drill with about anything other than an all-terrain. Limestone, sandstone, cobble, shale, any of them. It'll drill and it'll steer when it does it. 